concept that is highest power of a prime uh, present in a factorial can also be asked in a little different way that of number of trailing zeros right we have seen this trailing zeros even in the chapter on factorization and we would be using all fundas learned that so i hope you have done that chapter and to refresh your memory so if i take a number let's say 2 0 3 0 4 5 1 2 3 if this is a number by trailing zeros we only mean zeros from the right end before the first non-zero digit. So these are the trailing zeros. And uh, to make myself more clear, trailing, they should be only at the end. So we are not going to count the other two zeros that are present in the number, right? So the trailing zeros is equal to three in this case, right? Uh, we could also say that this original number by what power of 10 is it divisible? Is it divisible by 10 raised to 1? Yes, the 0 will cancel out and it is divisible. Is it divisible by 10 square as well? Yes, two zeros will cancel out. Is it divisible by 10 cube? The three zeros will cancel out. It is divisible. However, is it divisible by 10 raised to 4? No, it is not divisible, right? So the number of trailing zeros, this 3, could also be said to be equal to the highest power of 10. The highest power of 10 that divides the number. Right, we have seen, I am just refreshing all this in your, uh, for you. The highest power of 10. The last bit here. Uh, now, now it is a familiar territory, right? Highest power of 10. And all I would ask you to think about is that 10 is a composite number. And if it is a composite number, don't search for 10 as a packet, right? For example, we had seen this case of, uh, let's say, 8 into 5 into 15 into 25. Now, if I look at this product, I can't see any 10 as such, right? But if I multiply it, 8 5s are 40, 40 into 25, 25 4s are 100, that is going to be 1000, 1000 into 15, that is going to be 15,000, right? And here are the three trailing zeros. Whereas the original, there were no trailing zeros. So what are we talking about? Think of this number 10 as a prime 2 combined with a prime 5. Right, and let me also put down this 1, 2 combined with 1, 5 will form 1, 10. Right, so if I look at it in the factorized form, this is divisible by 2, 4, 8. There is 2 cube, there is no other even number. So 2 cube into 5, 5 into 3, 5 into 5. So there is a 3 and there are 5 raised to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I look at the primes 2 and 5s, I see there are 3 2s, 1 and another 1 and another 1. And how many 5s? There are 4 5s, right? I again point out the fact that 1 2 with a 1 5 will form a 0, another 0 and another 0 and I have exhausted my 2s. These are less, these are more. So my the less 1 is going to determine how many zeros will be formed. The extra 5 that is left over, but there's no 2 along with it, right? So hence I get these 3 zeros, right? So this is what we will, we will be doing. We will only be doing it mostly in a factorial. So while here I explained it with just random product, our uh, arena or the, the number that will be involved in our questions will be that of a factorial. Let's start our questions by finding the number of trailing zeros in 100 factorial. So 100 factorial we are factorizing. There are going to be plenty of uh, primes too. When I mean plenty, all I say is compared to the powers of 5. 
the powers of 5 are going to be lesser than that of 2 and hence this is going to determine the number of zeros. Powers of 3 and 7 we are not interested. 3, 7 or higher primes we are not interested. So how do I find the power of 5 out over here? Just to remind you, uh, we take the number itself 100 divided by 5. Since you are finding powers of 5, that is 20. Take the number 20 itself again, 20 by 5 which is 4. 4 is not divisible by 5, so the process stops out over here and will add them up. So, the highest power of 25 is, of 5 is 24 and therefore 100 factorial will have, the meaning of it will have 24 trailing zeros. It's as easy as this, nothing, nothing big uh, here, right? Uh, being very, very particular about theory, I would still ask you what are these, what is the meaning of these? These 20 are 20 multiples of 5, multiples of 5. From what? From 1 to 100. And I would want those numbers to flash in your mind, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 20 into 5, 100, 90, 95, 100. And what are these four? These are four multiples of 5 square. Four multiples of 5 square. That is nothing but the which are those 25, 50, 75 and 100. Why do I need? They will give me a second 5 out of it. Right? So you need to be very perfect about all such matters. Right? Anyway, so that is your answer out of here. It's a good idea to memorize these values. Right? It is a benchmark. The first 100, 100 factorial. Has how many zeros? 24 trailing zeros, right? The number, and that, will, that is why I did this, let's say, at the back of my mind I had, you should know 20 and 4. 20 multiples of 5, 4 multiples of 25, 24 zeros in 100 factorial. And let's continue the question because it's a pretty easy one as of now. How many zeros in 125 factorial? So, let me just directly give out the answer. 125 by 5. You don't need to write this. I am doing this just to explain it to you, right? Oh, and once you get this, 25 by 5 and a 5, 5 by 5 and a 1, 1 is not divisible. So, that is going to be 31 trailing zeros. Hope you get that idea, right? 125 would have 31 trailing zeros. Again, you already had the 24 and how many more do I get? 105. 110 gives me 1 0, 115, 120 gives me 1 0, 125 gives me, think about it, those questions are going to be important. 125 will is a 5 cube, therefore you get a third level here, right? So, it will give me 4 and 3, 7. Uh, when I add a 7 to 24, I get 31. Please do that in your mind, we will be using this. Let's build up on these questions now.